Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to uh, Fairview High School girls basketball game. It's between Fairview High School and Lewis County. We've got myself, Benjamin Lampley, and Jonathan Extreme on commentary tonight. And on our camera people are Miss Amy Grayson, Jesse Lejeune, and Mitch Weimer. And then on on TriCaster and our director is Mr. Kevin Green. We got an all-star cast for the media crew today. So you're in for a treat. All right. So it's in. Tonight for Fairview, the starters, I believe, are number 12, Molly Graham, number 15, Tiffany Franks, number 30, Tori Smith, number 32, Sarah McDonald, and I believe number 52, Taylor Langston. And then for Lewis County, we got number 3, Hayden Rowden, number 12, Bailey Fitzsinger, number 20, Leanne Amateur, 32, Mallory Floyd, and 35, Morgan McKissack. Indeed. So, Fair Fairview has some pretty... Pretty monster starters. Taylor Langston is a force in the post. Oh, ooh. Bad first shot right there There's by uh, by Lewis County. There goes, there goes Tiffany Franks driving up. Sierra with the shot. Good on the board for Fairview. Wide ooh. open. Just under 20 seconds into the game, Fairview's up 2 nothing. So Good assist off, by Tiffany. Off to a good start. Lewis County driving, goes up, makes it. Good shot. Tied it back up. That was a good good play. Do what do what Fairview's gonna do now. That the score is tied up. It's for just looks like Lewis County is like doing almost like a full court press this early in the game. There goes Tiffany over to Sierra. Ooh. Oh pass just a little ahead of her. Yep. If that would have been like a bounce pass or something, it probably would have been good, but just a tad bit ahead of her, so It'll be Lewis County's ball as they bring it down the court. And we'll see what there's Tori Smith playing some defense. All right, we got um three seniors starting. Good three shot. seniors, a sophomore, or is it four seniors and a sophomore? No, it's three seniors, a sophomore, and uh no, hold on, no four, four seniors, four, four seniors, seniors and a sophomore. Indeed. Yeah. Molly Graham taking the place of Caroline Edmondson, who is a freshman, put a little bit more experience on the court. Mm -hmm. Well, you can see Caroline. Caroline's right up on the bench. She'll be probably first or second sub in the game. Indeed. So, Fairview's got a pair of three-point shooters on their starting lineup, and Tori Smith and Tiffany Franks. There we go. Good play right there by Fairview. Tori good. Smith finds Taylor Langston wide open down there. Yeah, that was a good play. So, right, that score is tied up 4-4 with. Just under like a minute and a half gone in this first quarter. Lewis County looking to drive. That'll be number three, Hayden Rowden with the ball for Lewis County. And she passes, goes up, up. Hard back, pass, almost mishandled. Back to Hayden right at the top of the key. She's looking, trying to set up a play. Sarah McDonald playing tight defense right there on her. Swings it and drives, goes up. Basket's good, so another Two points for Lewis County. Lost Tori Smith there. So. Made the easy layup. Yeah, there's Sarah McDonald up. Travel. Uh, travel on Sarah McDonald. She picked up her dribble and took an extra. So got a sub in the game. So Caroline Edmondson coming in quick. Number 34, Caroline Edmondson checks into the game for number 12, Molly Graham. Like Mr. Stream said before, Caroline Edmondson is a freshman. And she's got, got basketball in her blood. Her that is true. Her brother Isaac and her brother Sam both play on the boys team. Isaac was a starter. Sam's a regular off the bench. You know it. All right, so Lewis County there again with the ball at the top of the key, looking for back over to Hayden Rowden, throws it down low. Over. Kick it out to Rowden, who shoots it. Oh. off Just off the mark. Open three, but offensive rebound. I'm not sure. We'll see what. that foul was so oh I guess it was on on number 35 uh, Morgan McKissack I believe it was over the back on them so possibly and we got another sub for Fairview number five Sarah Mangrum checks into the game for number 30 Tori Smith Sarah so. Mangrum's a freshman and a really good scorer for mm -hmm. being a freshman not the best pass Ball there, almost though. stolen by Lewis County right there Tiffany Franks, down low, goes up. Good pass down low to Taylor. Just off the mark. So we got Lewis County driving back down the court again. 
So down low. Back goes up. Just off the mark. Rebound by Taylor Langston from Fairview. Got Tiffany Franks with the ball. They Taylor. don't watch out. Tiffany will just blow by him. She's quick. Taylor Langston gets on average at least double digits in rebounds per game. Yep. Caroline Edmonton looking monster down there. Ooh. Oh. Try to thread the needle. Just off the mark. So Lewis County will bring the ball down. Up Back. and in. So with that, with about 4.30 left in the half, the score is 8-4 to four, Lewis County. There's our crowd. It's building up a little bit. Good pass. As you can see. That Edmondson with the basket is good. Nice so pump fake right there by Caroline Edmondson. Yep, and now the score is back. Deficit's down to only two for Fairview, so... The Lewis County swinging the ball, shot by Rowden, just off the mark. Who rebound? Got, almost got her own rebound. That was a good hustle there by Rowden to crash the boards after a shot. Swings it over. Looks like she's trying to go down low and goes up. Just oh, just off the mark. Unlucky shot there. In and it out. Rimmed in, right back out. So it'll be, I believe it'll be a foul. Foul. So it'll be Lewis County's ball under the basket was on. Number 30 on Caroline Edmondson, her first foul of the game, and Fairview's first. So, ball's in the corner, kicks it over, throws it down low, back up, off the mark. Ooh, they'll call. I think that was, yeah, over the back, I do believe. Yep, over the back again. That's the second. That's the, that's the second call against Lewis County. They've got over over the back. Lewis County's being aggressive, trying to get these rebounds. That was on number three, Hayden Rowden for Lewis County. It's okay to be aggressive, but you got to be smart about it. You can't be getting pointless fouls. That is true. So that's Sarah McDonald driving. Looks like she gets double teamed trapped, which means Taylor Langston with the ball means there's one person open if she's double teamed. She's looking looking to drive. Lewis County's playing some tight press defense tonight. Bullet Ball's pass. Ball's up. Almost stolen back by Caroline, but I believe it'll be a foul, so it'll be, let's see, see who it's on. I do believe it'll be on Caroline. I think it will. I think that, yep, that'll, that's her second foul of the game. So it's about 3.20 left in the game. Lewis County will take carry the ball up the court, so we'll see. Swings it and in the middle. Shoots and goes up. Just off the mark, so... Another foul, I believe she'll go to the line. She's going to the line to shoot two. That was called. I didn't see too much contact there, really. Yeah, let's see who it is on. It will be on number five, East Sarah Mangrum. We've got number 20, Leanne Amateur, up, up for two shots. First one's good. Let's wait on the second one. Checking the game for Fairview is number 20, Allie Mazel, and number 30, Tori Smith, and they came in for. Number five, Sarah Mangrum, and number 34, Caroline Edmondson. Fairview's got a lot of, a lot of good young talent on the team. You got a lot of freshmen. They sub in a lot. She well, hits both of them, like Caroline and uh, Mazel. Mm-hmm. All right, so it'll be the score is now 10 to six, Lewis County. So they're building, trying to extend their lead a little bit, going down. Double teaming again, Tori just barely lost the ball, so Lewis kind of will be throw. Ooh. Tori fouled, good play, stopping the easy layup. Yep. Force her to shoot two. But don't want to give her the easy bucket, so it'll be that'll be the first foul, I believe, on Tori. Be Tori's first, yep. So gives Fairview four team fouls and Lewis County's at three, so Ooh, that's number twelve. Bailey Fetchtinger at the line for two. She hits the first one. Let's wait on. Here comes the second one, and it is also good. So like tonight, it. Lewis County is four for four on free throws right now. I like your motion at the free throw line. It's very smooth. Mm-hmm. Dang, Lewis County is playing some tight defense. They're playing full court press right now, and it's only, but a little under, just a hair under three minutes left in the first quarter of this game. That's high defense. Got to Sierra McDonald there, causing a erratic pass. Mm -hmm. Throws it down low to the corner, just Ooh. off the mark. That was a shot by number 13, Marno Woolridge. Sierra dribbling a little bit too far away from her body. Got the turnover. Yep. 
go and download a alley who goes up with a shot us off the mark. Almost gets your own rebound, but a rebound by Lewis County's carrying the ball up. Drive, throws it over, kicks it back up to the top. Deep three by Lewis County and just off the mark. Rebound by Tiffany Franks. Now Tiffany's was almost triple team there, throwing it back down, which means there's someone open. Basket off the mark. Taylor Langston goes up. Good. So now the score is now 14 to 8, Lewis County. Fairview's trying their best to come back, but neither team's doing anything really with outside shooting. It's been all layups so far. That is true. It's just, I mean, they've tried out. It's a good steal there by Taylor Langston. Throwing ahead to Tori Smith. Intercepting that pass. Tori slowing down. Slowing down, letting it regroup. Kicking it to Tiffany back up top. Trying to let her make, make a move. Swing it to Sierra. They're looking to go down low. It looks like Mazelle, but. I believe that was a reach in possibly on Lewis. Yep. I found number 13, Marno Woolridge, I believe. So they'll be, uh, yep, that'll be her first. So it'll be Fairview ball underneath the basket so we'll wait for, wait this inbounds play goes up Taylor good now that the lead the Lewis County's leads only back down to four so Fairview's on a uh, 4-0 run right now as we enter under a minute 15 left in this first quarter Lewis County just hit that three to extend their lead a little bit more but you shoot enough of those threes you're eventually gonna make one yep that's what they've been doing Bad play there by Fairview, losing the ball, turn it back over. So the tight defense to get into Fairview. Yep, as we enter under a minute, pull up another three and hit it. So now the lead is back up to ten. In a matter of that, Lewis County scored. It was down to four-point game, and now they scored six unanswered and flipped it. And yet another turnover off the inbound. Yep. Looks like they're trying to drive again. Sierra got a hand on that yep. ball. Kick it. They look like they're looking for another, almost for another three almost, oh, going down low. Good play or with that. Another basket for Lewis County. So as we enter, 25 seconds to go. Scores 22 to 10, Lewis County. Fairview's trying to do something to end on, a, at least on a good note this half. Shot up by Ali Mazelle, which makes it. So that's another basket for Fairview. Leads back down to 10. It's a good shot under pressure. Yep. Driving goes up. Good just off the mark. Good Re defense by Tori Smith. Rebound by Sierra. She's driving. Tiffany goes up, throws it. Almost made it. So in the first quarter, the score is 22 to 12, Lewis County. So what are your thoughts on the this first quarter? Fairview turning it over way too much, man. I this, uh, the tight defense that Lewis County's playing up and down the court, really messing with them. I agree. They don't know. They start it off. Fairview looks like they had their. That the, that full court press wasn't getting to him that much, but then as as the game went on, it looked like they just they just kept pressing them tighter and tighter, and then it just they just started making trapping them right at the top of the, their own three point line and just making a bad throw and getting it intercepted. So Fairview needs to really need to clean that up, or that game this game can get out of hand quickly. The lead's only at 10, but Lewis County scored six points in a matter of five seconds right they, there. They started to shoot the threes. They were, they were trying to shoot them all through the first quarter, and they finally started to hit them at the end. Yep, so. They can keep that going. It's not good news for Fairview. Yep, so as we start this, like I said, it is a 10-point lead for Lewis County. Both teams have four fouls. As we begin this second quarter, it will be, I believe, Fairview's ball right at half court. Yes. Finish the game for Fairview. We have number 30, Tory Smith, 52, Taylor Langston, number 12, Molly Graham. 32, Sierra McDonald, and number 15, Tiffany Franks. So Perfect. all the starters will be out there to start the second half. Yes. Look, I think Coach, Coach McGowan and Coach Bledsoe probably talked to him and told him to step, polish things up. Oh, oh, good start there for Fairview. They slowed it down and ran it. It looked like a design plan. Almost Taylor Langston almost had the basket, but it rimmed in and then popped right back out. So. Should make that 99 out of 100 tries. But yeah. he's got unlucky there. Yeah, it's just bad, bad hit off the mark, and it just rolled in and rimmed right back out. So Lewis County's ball looking to go down low, and they do. And then they, then they immediately kick it right back out. So Driving in. Shots up. It's good. Soft D by Fairview right there. Let her drive right in. Yep. 
leads back up to 12 now for Lewis County. So Tiffany Franks weaving in and out, throws it to. Ooh, looks like. Who, who, who is that two down low? That was Molly, also Molly Graham, just off the mark. It was a little too hard, and it kind of she couldn't get hands on it. Ricocheted off her hands and went out of bounds. So shots up. No good. Just off the mark. Little B. Lewis County still regained possession there. So swinging it, driving kick out. Let's see. They're looking for something, but Fairview's, I guess, kind of stepping up their defense. That's still, I mean, they, they play it hard, but then it, Lewis County finds the loophole, like, right there. Fairview but, not getting rebounds either, though. Yep. Giving Lewis County two or three chances to get a, get a basket. Yep, that was a good play by Lewis County. They drove one down low and made made the other Fairview defender who was playing on the block slide over, and they almost had the back door cut there, but then the – Shot was just off the mark, but it'll be a foul. So we got number 13, Marno Woolridge for the Lady Panthers up at the line. Misses the first one, so. Got the Lewis County coach calling something out. Shot off the mark. Rebound by Sierra, so. Fairview is now driving once again. Now she hit that one, so it'll be. Scores 25 to 12. We got a sub in the game for. Lewis County, I believe it's, I can't tell what number she is. Rebound in for Fairview, throws it over to Sierra. Throws it down low, N almost another miscommunication. Shot by Sierra McDonald, off the mark, rebound. By Mo Good rebound there by Molly Graham, but she uh, got a little hesitant and tried to throw it Sierra, but Sierra wasn't ready, so. Turned it over once again. Lewis County's almost stolen there by Fairview. Lewis County's looks like they've ooh, picked up the momentum a little bit. Sarah just plowed that woman over down there. Yep, it got so sub into the game for Lewis County. I still can't tell what number they are because so I'll tell you momentarily whenever I we get a little bit closer. So drive in. Ooh, ooh. that should be a charge right there. They'll call it, they'll call a block. Oh, just kidding. They called the charge. So it'll be good play there by Sierra. To, her, her feet were set, so they called the offensive charge. Oop, put her body on the line there. Yep. See, they call over the back there on, or reaching or something on Lewis County right there. Lewis County playing tight defense and a little bit too tight a lot <laughs> of occasions here. Uh-huh. They are. They're playing when they, when they get the ball in offense. They're playing quick and fast. And Fairview, Fairview's trying to look like they're playing almost like a zone. They're trying to control it, but they kind of if if they re, even relax for a second, Lewis County can try to find the hole. So these fouls are catching up with Lewis County. Fairview now in the bonus. Yep, first one was off the mark. So rebound. Try to fit it down low and still gains back. Ooh, stolen there by Tiffany Franks. Good play. Good work by Tiffany. There goes Tiffany back down the court. I believe they'll call that one on Lewis County. I believe that's number. So Tiffany will go to the free throw line. Yep. Not sure what number that was on. Might be number 22, Holly Hall for the Lady Panthers. And number five, Sarah Mangrum checking in the game for Fairview. So we got Tiffany Franks on the line. First one's good. So now the score is now 25 to 13. Lewis County, Fairview's trying to cut into this. As of right now, it's 12 point lead Lewis County has. Hit this, it'll be 11, and she does. So it's an 11 point lead with 542 left in the half. So they're carrying it up, probably Setting up and trying and trying to run a play, kick it at the outside. Three off the mark, rebound. Good rebound there by Lewis County though, and puts it back up for two. Right there, there are about three, three of Fairview's players right there, and only one of Lewis County's. And Lewis County's person was the steal. We got the rebound. Yeah, Lewis County was anticipated the ball to rim out, which it did, and then it she went straight up for it. It'll be a timeout for by Fairview, so. They're used, they're used tight, in, tight enough on the turnovers in the second second quarter right here, but they still got to work on that rebound if they want to get back in this game. Yeah, I mean, the, they're trying their best to score, but it's just 
if it comes down to it, Lewis County's out rebounding him. That's why they get more more second chance points when they're on offense. But can't just keep giving them second chance buckets. Yep, and while we have a little pause here, let's recognize our crew again tonight. It's myself, Ben Lampley, on Johnny Extreme on commentary. Indeed. Then we got on cameras tonight, we got Miss Amy Grayson, Mr. Jesse Lejeune, and Mr. Mitch Weimer. And then on uh, our director tonight is Mr. Kevin Green. And the executive producer of all this is Mr. Bob King. Indeed. So, as we come out of this timeout, let's see what Fairview can do. So we got Sarah Mangrum, Tiffany Franks, Caroline Edmondson, and I cannot. I'll Sarah say. Mangrum. Caroline Edmondson, Tiffany Franks, I believe probably Taylor Langston and Tori Smith in the no. Tori Smith and yeah, Tori Smith and Taylor Langston in the good game. Good shot there by Taylor with tight defense on her. Yep, that was it was a good play. Fairview was coming out, came out like poised and stuff right out of that timeout. So I wonder what the coaches said to him to change it. So that Tori Smith plan, trying to look for the steal right there. Ooh, I think that going to be a block on Tiffany. Yeah, she didn't slide over. Yep, it'll be a block. So it'll be, I believe that's, I believe that's her first foul, I believe. If I was Fairview right now, I'd go for high percentage shots. Just toss it down low to Taylor Langston, see what she can do. Yeah. Lewis County's. Who are they trying to drive? Kick it back to the outside. Ooh. Tori Smith tipped the pass, still went into Lewis County's hands. They're playing. They're swinging the ball very well right now. They're swinging it all around Fairview, but just Fairview's keeping up, playing good defense. Yep. Go back to the corner. Ball stolen there by Tiffany. Good play there. She, no, that wasn't Tiffany. That was Taylor Langston right there. So Tiffany Franks will carry the ball up for Fairview with 4:15 left in this half. She drives, pulls up. Down low to Taylor. Good shot. pass to Taylor. Just off the mark. Almost. Sarah Mangrum almost got the rebound. Was uh, Lewis County boxed her out. So there you go. They didn't swing it back down low. Ba off of uh, Taylor Langston. So it'll be Lewis County ball down low. We got checking in the game is number, I believe number. I uh, can't tell what number that is. Probably either 10 or 12. I believe for Lewis County. I do not yeah, still, still can't tell what number that is. It'll be another another foul on Fairview, so it'll be Lewis County will shoot. The foul is on number Let's see here. Fifth Taylor Langston's first. And now Lewis County is also in the bonus. Yep, hits the first one. Their lead is now up back up to twelve again. Looking to make it thirteen with 3.55 left in this first half, and it is. Gucci. I think. Good play there by Lewis County to steal it, but it was out of bounds. I believe Lewis County's only missed, I believe, one free throw, and they've taken at least 10, so they're like 9 for 10 at least, I believe. Ball. Wait. Stolen? Jump ball. It will Jump be. Ball. I don't know. The possession there is not up. I guess it'll be Fairview's ball. The possession arrow is not on the scoreboard, so I can't tell whose ball it is. Back again. Fairview's ball once again. Lewis County now playing tight defense now. And Fairview can't do anything against it. On this inbound, there goes Tiffany Franks with the ball. She'll just, she'll just use her speed to try to get by everybody, and she does. Kicks it to Sierra or Tori. Shot up. Good. Tori Smith will drain those threes on you. Got to be careful. That was a three, so now it's four. Score is now 29 to 19, Fair, uh, Lewis County. Fairview's now went down by 10. Shot up off the mark. Rebound. Ooh. Tiffany Frankson, a Lewis County player, dove on the ground for it, but I believe they waved it off. They'll shoot. Now shoot one and one. Oh, that was, it was called on Tiffany. That's her second. So number 10. Shelby Yeiser will shoot. We'll have a one and one for Fairview. I mean, for Lewis County. And we got uh, Allie Mazel checking in the game for number 34, Caroline Edmondson. And the Lewis County player drained the first one. So we got her second free throw coming up. Shot is up. And it's also good. So 
Good fundamentals. Rebounding. Uh, rebounding and free throw shooting by Lewis County right now. Yep. So there's Tiffany Franks driving. Ooh, wide open. Dang. Good play there by Tiffany. She drove, went coast to coast, as they sometimes say, and dribbled to their whole defense and scored. Good play. Kobe did up a little bit right there. Yep. Worked out pretty well. Put two points back on the board to the jacket. So it's now ooh. falling down on the layup. Rebound was fought for. We've, we've, looks like the possession arrow will be to f looks like one ref pointed to Fairview on that. They're gonna, looks like they're going to discuss. He's pointing to Fairview. It's still not up on the board yet, so I'm not sure. It, like it went to Fairview last time, so it should be Lewis County if I'm if I am correct. They're going to go talk to yet yeah, their motion. It, it'll be it's to Lewis County because it, it went to Fairview last time, so it should be. If they made the right call last time, it should be to Lewis County. We'll wait and see as the refs discuss it with the Mr. Jones, the scorekeeper, and the two stats people. So I believe there's, I think they're, the final decision is, I think it's to Lewis County, I believe. But they still have not called it yet. They should turn the possession arrow on the scoreboard so we can see. Taking way too much time to solve something. Let's see. Too it'll, simple. It'll they'll get end up giving it to Lewis County. So Fairview will play, be playing some defense right underneath their, the goal they're trying to defend. Lewis County looked like they're almost pulled up, but they didn't. It drives again, kicks it, kicks it back to the top, down low, stolen by Alec. Good play there by Ali Mazel to steal the ball, reach in, foul on number 20, Ali Mazel. So they will go back to the line for another one-one with 2.48 left in this half. Trying to be aggressive was Mazelle. It did not work out for her, though. Yep, she, that was a good play. She hustled and got the steal, and then she just got a little too hesitant after Lewis County player got the ball back in their hands. First one's good by Lewis County, number 12. Number 12, Bayleaf Fitchtinger. So it'll be another second one, I believe, off the mark, but I think they called might have been lane violation, so it was automatic fair view ball. Once again, going with the double team. Yep, they're still playing that looks like full court press right there. Tori Smith is up at the top of the key, swinging it back to Tiffany as we enter two and a half minutes left. Fairview is down by 11. Driving. Tiffany's looking for something, just no one's. Spin. Kicks out to Sarah, who travel. Dribble, picked up the ball, started dribbling again. There goes another Fairview with another turnover. They need to tighten these up, or this is going to be a long game for them. That was just a little bit lack of awareness by the younger player and Sarah Mangrum, who is a freshman. Yep, so we got they're driving. Lewis County is just swinging the ball. Three. Just off the mark. Rebound by Allie Mazel for Fairview. Loses. Tiffany Franks picks it up. Ooh. I believe they'll call that one on number 10, Shelby Yeiser, I believe. And it looks like we will go up. Tiff I believe Tiffany will go to the line. No, that was on number 20, Leanne Amateur. My bad. No, they haven't changed it yet. Unless it's... Yes, it's on her. So Tiffany Franks will go to the line do for the one and one with 158 left. First one's good. Score scores now 32-22 Lewis County. Maybe bring this lead into single digits. It'll be an accomplishment for him. Yep, slowly. Second one's up, and it's good. Good. Now Lewis County's lead's only back down to nine, which is that's the lowest it's been since beginning of the game, really. Since a while. Yeah. I mean, Fairview started off strong and had a 4-0 run, but then the end of the first quarter, Lewis County turned it on, and they've kind of never let off the gas since. They've been pushing it hard on offense and defense both. Drive, the ball goes up, off the mark, rebound by Tiffany once again. And Lew Tiffany. Lewis County got a combination of good rebounding and tight defense. Yep. It's working really well. Ooh. Caroline Edmondson, a little late on the pass down low to Torrey Smith, yep. who was open. Tiffany got a 
double teamed right at the, right at the top of half court. So it was, which means one person was open. And it was Tory, but Carolina tried to get around something before she made the pass, and it was a gave a Lewis kind of defender enough time to get over there and get a hand on it. So. And if they're going to double team, that's what we're going to have to do. Yep. It's, it's find the open player no matter what. Tiffany's driving, pulls up for the three in the corner, nice. makes it. With a hand in her face, Tiffany Franks what a it. That was a great play there by Tiffany. She sat there, looked to pass, but then instead just pulled up and drained it right there from the corner. So now. Cuts the lead to six. Yep. As we enter under a minute left in this game, Lewis County's foul called on Taylor Langston, I think. Maybe not. Uh, I want to say, is it white? They might have called, I think they called a walk or a travel on Lewis County right there. Oh, works, uh, out. works out for me. Yep. They're, they're they're playing their full court press. I got going. Caroline Edmondson driving, pulls up. Ooh, gets blocked. Shot blocked. So with, there goes they're coming to all Molly Graham trying to come up behind for the steal. And I believe Oh, forces a travel, so it'll be Fairview ball right there in front of their own bench. Good eye by the ref there. Yep, Fairview's kinda turning it on right here in this last minute, so trying to cut into this lead or even possibly even take the lead, but as we 30 seconds counts down. We'll see what's going on. And Tiffany Franks will go to the line to shoot. Don't know what exactly that foul was. Neither do I. I don't know who it's on. Neither we'll wait and see. So Tiffany will shoot the first one just off the mark. They still have not said who is it on. The scoreboard's not told us yet. So. Subject in the game for Lewis County. It is hard to read the numbers on their jerseys. I believe that was number more, 35 came out, and I don't know what number came in. It's hard to tell. Tiffany their. drains the second free throw. It's cut, cutting the lead back down to five with 30.5 seconds left in this half. Maybe showing a lot of fight here at the end. Yep, so Lewis County will try to probably – I would guess just try to kill the clock. I wouldn't unless they're trying to keep that pressure on and try to score again. It looks like they just try to hold it and go into halftime with this their five point lead, but Not goes the best up. shot, but once again. We'll call, they'll get they will get the foul, so it'll be uh Lewis County go to the line for two. Once again, Lewis County getting that offensive rebound. <laughs> getting plenty of them. During this game. The foul will be on number 20, Allie Mazel. That is her second of the game. But I don't. Yeah, she's in the game. Okay. So Fairview will have 13.6 uh, seconds. See if they can't bring this lead to about either two possession game, either yep. way. There's number five, Sarah Mangrum checks in for Allie Mazel for these final 13 clicks of the half. Tiffany's driving. Looks like trying to slow it down. She'll probably hold for the last shot. Looks like I'll make a move. Yeah, they're, looks like they're calling ISO. Kick to the corner. To Sarah, back out top. Ooh. Miscommunication. That that will end the half right there. Not a pretty way to end the half either. Not at all. So with the score of uh, 34 to 27, the Lewis County Lady Panthers lead the half. So, Mr. Extreme, what are your thoughts on this first half? Uh, Fairview, not a good first quarter at all. Lewis County just tearing them up, rebounding, tearing them up, causing turnovers, stuff like that. But second half, or second quarter, excuse me, Fairview really tightened up, did a good job, did a lot better job than they did in the first quarter. I agree with all those things you just said. It was first half, Fairview came out uh, was a little sloppy, and they kind of kind of fixed it second quarter, but it's still Lewis County kept – they came out early strong, got the lead, and kind of kept their foot on the gas and never really never really let off of it. So it was just, as you can see the scoreboard, it's only they're only up by seven, but still it was it was a back and forth. Lewis County could have pulled away right there, but Fairview held to it. So, But going into halftime, we'll see you when game commences, recommences. This is Johnny Extreme and Ben Lamp. We will see you all in about seven minutes. All right, welcome back. We will begin this second half of play here at Fairview High School between Fairview High School Lady Yellow Jackets and 
Lewis County Lady Panthers. Indeed. So I am Johnny Extreme and I'm Ben Lampley. We got on our crew tonight. We got Amy Grayson, Jesse Lejeune, and Mitchell Weimer on cameras tonight. We got Mr. Kevin Green on as our director and TriCaster and the executive producer is Mr. Bob King. So what are your uh, hopes for this second half of play? Well, my hopes are for Fairview to do a little bit more than they were doing in the second second quarter. Mm -hmm. Not so much the first quarter. Didn't do too well. They play like they did in the second quarter. I feel like fast break. I agree. But I feel like they could come back and win the game. I agree. There was a – Fairview came out and turned the ball over and then drove down and stole it back from uh, Lewis County. So I guess they're – Kind of starting off a little sloppy, but let's we'll see if they can tighten it up. Drop to the corner, shot by Sarah Mangrum. Off. Just off the mark. Rebound by Taylor Langton, though. Good way to Tiffany Franks with the three. Gucci. It is good. So with that, great, that's a great way for them to start the half. A big confidence booster and then a boost. Maybe they can just rally behind that and keep that going. Maybe they won't let off if they don't. It's on a four-point game. They can, they can flip that score very easily. That'll, that was Tiffany's second three of the game as well. Yep, and there was a it's be fair if you ball once more. Tiffany will walk it up, so she'll try to ex get rid of this Ooh. lead. Just loose. out of the reach, Taylor Langston. Yep, that was just a little bit too high, so it'll be Lewis County ball. And that was another turnover, which could be costly to Fairview in the long run, but I'll have to wait and see. Oh, excuse me. We got uh, mm. Lewis County swinging it. Ooh, I thought she was pulling up for the deep college play right there. But I said she drove. So it'll be uh, another basket on the board for Lewis County. So the lead is six points. Six point lead. The score is 36 30. With about 6 35 left in this half quarter. T excuse me. Tiffany's slowing it down. Yep, yeah, looks like she's setting up. Call. There's a screen by Molly Graham. Looks like she's trying to. Drive the lane, kick it. Uh, looks like she keeps trying to go down low to Taylor, but it looks like Lewis County's kind of figured that out. But they're trying to go for the high percentage shots and feed it down low. Three by Lewis County, which is good. So with that, leads back up to nine. Almost one more basket, and they'll be back up by double digits. So Fairview needs to, I don't know what, they need to hurry it up, I guess, and need a timeout. Yep, yeah, there'll be a. It will be a timeout for Fairview, so it will be a 30-second timeout for Fairview. So Fairview came out during that three. Yep. Lewis County came back, quick layup, and a three of their own. Yep, scored. Fairview scored three, started it, and then Lewis County turned around and scored five unanswered. So now both scores 39-30 with exactly two minutes, to, two minutes gone in this third quarter. So hopefully Fairview will turn this around and, come out with the win, but we'll have to wait and see. Coach Wayne talking to his team. Yep, he's telling them they need to, really need to tighten up on the turnovers. This is like, oh, yeah. I've been to some, came to so many games this year, and this is probably the, the like their worst game, like turnover-wise, that I've seen. I don't know what's what's up with them. A lot, of it, a lot of it was caused by the early uh, full-court pressure Lewis County was putting on him. That is true. They were just shot. Good shot there by Fairview. Shot off the screen right there. Good team play. Yep. Oh, another basket on the board. Fairview cut cut this lead into si down to seven. So shifting over. Kick it back out. Kick it over again. Three. Just off the back iron. Ooh, there Tory goes. got it. Tory with the rebound, and they will call. I think they called a travel on Tory. I think they. I don't think that is the right call. Because she grabbed it and was falling as she got it. So you can't really – I wouldn't consider that like a dribble. Like she caught the ball and then tripped and fell. But yeah, I would not put the blame on Tori Smith for that. I would just let him keep playing. Like it, it wasn't like she took a dribble then fell. Like she got it and was falling as she rebounded the ball. So but there's another rebound there for Tori from the, after the missed shot. So there goes Tiffany pushing it. Goes up. Ooh, looking oh. for a foul. Yep. Drives it. Try, go over to Molly, who kicks it back out to Sarah. Ooh, lucky bounce. Ooh, good nice. bounce there. Also good play there by Molly. To she almost lost the ball, but fought for it, then was able to get it out to Sarah in time for the wide open shot. 
Sarah Mangum's a freshman, but she can shoot the ball. <coughs> that is true. The lead for Lewis County is only back up, only back up to five now. It's called a Lewis County throw. They call it a foul. Uh, you tired, Ben? <coughs> what you been doing all day, man? <coughs> Nothing. I just went to school and then went to soccer practice. I'm still not able to practice because I did something to my back. Hopefully, I'll try and get back by Wednesday, but I don't know. It's that defense. Soccer defense needs Ben Lampley. Yep. I still got a whole other game to comment after this. That foul was on number five, Sarah Mangrum. That was miscommunication there by <coughs> Carolina Taylor, causing both of them could have got the rebound by themselves. Both went for it, caused them to go out of bounds. Mm -hmm. dr Lewis County is driving once again, swings it around. Ooh, Taylor drives. fell down. No shot. All right. Looks like I don't know what this foul is either. It'll be, that'll be on number 20, Allie Mazel. That is her third foul of the game. So, Lewis County throwing it back down low. Almost stolen, but they stood with it. Driving again. Kicking back out. Drives, goes up. Ooh, foul. Foul. Should I'll be on. That might be on Mazel again. So, that will sh might be her fourth. Which, if so, she needs to. If, if, if that's her fourth, the coach will, most, coach will probably pull her if that's her fourth. Especially considering she's coming off the bench already four fouls. Yep, that is true. And if only still only about halfway gone in this third quarter, they'll probably, yep, the pull her and put it number 45, Desiree Sanchez, who's a sophomore. So they'll probably pull her and save her probably for near the fourth quarter to use her. Both free throws are good. A good shot. So it'll... Scores now 41 to 34. Lewis County with 4.06 left in this third quarter of play. Tiffany Franks is walking it up. Sanchez with the screen. Franks is driving. Goes up. Made the basket, but I believe they might. I think they called it off, I believe. There's a sub for Lewis County. Yeah, they. They waved the foul off the foul happened before, so Fairview inbounds are underneath the Ooh, hard foul there on Lewis County. Fairview was running their designed uh inbounds play and Taylor Langton, she almost went up to shoot and just got hacked, so she'll go to the free throw line. Go to the line for two, so Fairview needs to hit these free throws because it the game might come down to a couple points and most games are typically decided. Most close games are decided by who can, which team can hit their free throws. She hits the first one. Ooh, second, second one short. off the mark. Rebound by Lewis County. So it'll be one more point on the board for the Jackets. They're st still down by six. Score is 41 to 35. Shot up and good for Lewis. Hmm. Tiffany Franks come down Whoa. the court with the ball. Looking for something. Yep. Tiffany's driving, down low to Taylor, who goes up. Fouled again, I do believe. Yeah, another inbound. It'll be on number, I believe, 12. That will be Bailey Fitchtinger. No, excuse me, that's number 20, Leanne Amateur is her second foul. And Tiffany, a bad inbound pass, trying to get it to Desiree Sanchez. Ooh. Hard foul. I believe they will call call a block on Desiree, I believe. Yeah, she didn't have her feet set. She just got plowed into. No. Looks like he called that might he might have called that on Taylor Langston. Yep, he did. That was her second foul of the game. Shot up. No, off the mark. Des she Desiree Sanchez got ran over right. for nothing down there. We got a. Uh, Tori Smith checking in the game for number five, Sarah Mangrum. The first free throw was off the mark. Second one, same thing. Put too much on it, was hitting it off the back iron. Second off the mark. And let's see. Lewis County got the rebound once again, though, so they're still swinging the ball. Drives, kicks it out. Drives. 
Swing the shot, shot up off the mark, rebound by Desiree. That was a tight shot between two people. Not much chance that she was going to make that. Also, uh, Caroline Edmondson is checking into the game for Fairview, number 34. I believe she, I don't know who she checked in for. Moving screen probably there. Yeah. <laughs> huh. It's a moving screen on Desiree Sanchez. Yep, so it'll be Lewis County inbounds it with 2.51 left in this third quarter. Our crowd's building, you can see, a little bit. It's built since the beginning of the game, which is good. Hopefully it'll get even bigger since the, for the guys game, because typically all the students wait and come about a little around seven, catch the end of the girls and are in the stands for the guys. So That was physical down low play by Lewis County, getting that rebound. That was. That was a good, good job by Lewis right there. Tiffany Franks calling plays, directing traffic up there, trying to find something. She's pulls three. Ooh, just off the good. mark, rebound by Lewis. So Lewis County is up by double, gi double digits right now. Ten points. Mm -hmm. They're driving again, and believe it goes out of bounds. It, it will be. <laughs> I think it hit the ref right there. It might have. I think it will be, oh, be Lewis ball right underneath their basket. Or technically it's Fairview's basket, but basket they're trying to score on. They call a, uh, I think not, it's not a lane violation, but I think she crossed the line and she threw the ball in. So it'll be Fairview will inbound it. Tiffany will inbound it to number 30, Tori. And the refs are still trying to figure something out. There we go. So if, as we get to right at about two minutes in this third quarter, Fairview down by 10 and they have the ball right now so hopefully they'll try to put some points on the board for this half. Tiffany pulls for another three. That was a deep one too. Yep, just that was a little hit it off back iron. If she probably she would have pulled a little bit off of it. She would have made it. That was she had the like the distance and everything. It was just she put a little too much arc on it and it hit off back iron. Fairview had Fairview had a good chance of the rebound too, but everyone came crashing the boards, came down the middle. Yep. Ooh. Well, there's a three right there for Lewis County, right in the corner, even with a Fairview defender in her face. That was a good play. So now, of course, Lewis County's back up by 13. So, I believe they will. I don't know what they. All right. Got number 12, Molly Graham, and number 5, Sarah Manger. I'm checking into the game for 34, Caroline Edmondson, and number 45, Desiree Sanchez. I don't know what that call was, but you know, Fairview will be giving the ball oh, was it right at half. What will be Fairview ball again, I believe. So they're, they're waiting. They won't wait to inbounds it. Look, get to Tiffany. Tiffany will go one-on-one -on -one right at the top trying to make a move, make, make a man miss. Oh. She's doing a good job of it, too. That is. She's very quick and great with the ball, so we'll have to wait and see what's going on. Don't don't exactly know what happened right there. Neither do I. I don't know what's going on. So let's see here. Um, Lewis County is driving with the ball up. Oh, believe that'll be on therapy. I believe. Up. Uh, no. Yeah. Do you know what that foul was? I wasn't sure exactly. I have no idea. I don't know what the last two fouls were. I don't, I have no clue what that foul is, so it's just. It'll be Tiffany Franks will walk the ball up for Fairview as we get under a minute left in this third quarter. Sarah Mangrum looking for something. Gives it back. Throws it down low to Taylor, who almost got it, but I believe well, it'll. Ball was tipped. It will be Fairview's ball. Touched by Lewis County, so we got a. Sub in for Fairview, number 22, Chul Rambang. We'll check into the game for number five, Sarah Mangrum. They call it, this will be a call, foul on Lewis County, but I'm not sure what the foul will be. Rev's getting a little foul happy right now. Yep, but it'll be Fairview's inbounds are right again. Throws it up to Taylor, who goes up. Nice. Basket, there you go. So with 45 seconds left. The score is now 48-37. They're down to it's now an 11-point game. Fairview needs to pick it up. They only got 
Oh, about eight and, a, eight and a half minutes almost, kind of, no, not even. Shot off the mark, nope. Go back up again, blocked by the rim. Rebound by Chull. So Tiffany will carry it up with right at 20 seconds left. So it's driving. Shot. Just off the mark. That rebound by pretty. Lewis. That would have that been a off the double move dribbling right mm -hmm. there. Tries to pull it up. Wide open for Lewis County off the mark. That could have been devastating for Fairview right there if she would have hit that. That's, that's some good moves by the ref right there. Letting the ball sail between his legs. That was. I don't know what. That was just a miscommunication there by Fairview because that Lewis County player was wide open right there on the right there on the shoulder. And if she, she would have hit that, that would have been could have been devastating. And with that, third quarter is over. Scores 48-37. What are your thoughts on this third quarter? Uh, not too much going on for Fairview. Not at all. Uh, Lewis County just simply outplaying them, I do believe. I agree. It's just Lewis is taking quality, taking good shots and hitting them. Fairview finding good looks, but just not their shots are just not hitting, and they're not not rebounding is the main thing here. They're just not rebounding. Lewis County is just out rebounding them, which is which is as you can see, which is showing because it's scores. They're up by. They've held almost a double digit lead almost the whole entire game. They came out and got a double digit lead and kind of held on to it. So. Fairview has cut down on the turnovers in the second half, though, which is a good thing. That is true. That that is helping them, but it's they also need to they need to pick up their rebounding just, a lot. Got to get that rebounding, and down. they need to either hit their shots or they should probably try and take more high high percentage shots. Yeah. But they're trying to look down low, but the Lewis County is kind of jumping in the way. So let's uh. Lewis County has found out that Taylor Langston down low is a pretty good option for Fairview. That is true. So let's uh. Right before we start again, let's recognize our crew. Again, it's myself, Ben Lamplin, and Johnny Extreme on commentary. Mm -hmm. Got Amy Grayson, Jesse Lejeune, and Mitchell Weimer on cameras. Kevin Green as our director and our executive producer over all this is Mr. Bob King. So we got start this fourth quarter. Lewis is up by has up by 11, and they're driving with the ball. Go up, just off the mark. Rebound by them. Go up again. Second chance effort. Good shot there by Lewis. Scores Cannon. there by Lewis. That was a great play. She got the rebound, went straight back up, fought through the pressure from the Fairview defenders and made the shot. That was a good play there by Lewis. When you get two or three chances at the basket every single possession, though, like there's not too much Fairview can do except rebound. That is true. So it's off the mark there, I believe. Off Lewis, so it'll be Fairview ball underneath the basket. So checking into the game, Molly Graham will check out and – Number 20, Allie Mazel will check in the game. She needs to be careful. She does have four fouls. So Tiffany drives, goes, or Taylor goes up and goes, and Tiffany coming down with the rebound with a tip off there by Allie Mazel. Yep. Looking, looking down low for Mazel. Could not just, handle the pass. Just off. Yep, a little miscommunication there. Just a little too far ahead of her. So it'll be a turn, another turnover for Fairview, Lewis County ball. So they'll carry it up with a solid, their solid 13 point lead they got. Kick to the corner, almost pulled up at the three, driving, kicks. I believe there'll be a foul on number 30, Tori Smith. So it'll be Lewis. Yep, I believe that was on Tori. So I, I think that's possibly her second, maybe even. No, hold on. They called that on Mazelle? If that, I guess they called it on Mazelle, so that is her fifth foul. So it looks like Mazelle is fouled out of the game, so. I think we got number 14, Jesse Mangrum, a freshman, checking in the game from Mazel. So, I've seen during this game a lot of the older players, such as Tiffany and Taylor, Tori and whatnot, not mm -hmm. don't seem to have as much chemistry with the younger players as they do between themselves. That is true, and I wonder, I wonder if something happened to Sierra McDonald because she has not been in the game. That's I, true. I just realized that she must have gotten hurt because I just noticed that, that she hadn't been in at all this half. I, she might not even been in the second quarter that I remember. I know she was there first because she started, but I don't – yeah, the, you can see Courtney coming over. Something might have happened because I have not seen her check back in the game. So, And she is she is good for Fairview. She can shoot. That is true. So I wonder – I believe they'll 
foul on Tiffany, so it'll sh they'll sh now shoot one and one. So that, that's Tiffany's third foul, so she's up for fourth actually. So she one more for her, and she's gone too. And they've still got six and a half minutes left, so she needs to be careful. First one good. So as of right now, I do believe Fairview knows the outcome of the game. They have a lot, a lot of second stringers in. That is Patrol true. Patrol and Jesse, Jesse in there right now. Uh, that is true, and I, especially with it's hurting them that Sierra McDonald's hurting, not able to be put back in that rotation. I did not. She didn't look. I, she, I don't even know what happened to her. I guess we'll have, we'll find out after the game. Whatever. I, did, I just now realized that she wasn't even checking back into the game. That's Chol with the ball. They're looking. Reach in. I believe it'll be it. Reach in foul in Lewis County. So, leave number 14, Jesse Mangrum, will go to the line to shoot two for Fairview. Fouls on number 12, Bailey Fitchtanger for Lewis County. So, shot up and it's good. First one's good. So now it scores 58 to 32, Lewis County. I mean, 52 to 38, excuse me. Jesse Mangrum shooting her second. And, and it's, it's good. also good. So, try, cutting into this lead a little bit. It's not much, but, I mean, any, at this point, any points really help. Shot off the mark. Rebound by Chull for a fair view. Tiffany carrying the ball up. Looking, she's trying to pick up the tempo a little bit. Throws it deep. Just over the hands of Mangrum. So, it'll be another fair view turnover, which will make it Lewis County ball with... I would love to see the stat sheet of how many times Fairview's turned the ball over. Backcourt over, over and back on Lewis County, so it'll be Fairview ball. I believe they'll call a timeout. With right at 5.53 left, score 52 to 39. And that's a bad mistake by Lewis County, just mentally. Gotta be yep. aware. Yep, I don't know. I don't know what's going on this Fairview team. They're like the third quarter, they kind of, you saw them trying to pick it up this fourth quarter. They came out and just not really, I mean, they've tried to do stuff and still turn over. They're starting to turn the ball over more, and then they're still just getting out-rebounded by, I mean, by Lewis County. So I don't know what's going on. It may have to do with the absence of Sierra McDonald. It hasn't been out there. That is true. I we still do not know what exactly happened to her. It didn't look like she got hurt during the game. Like I never saw her go down, but I guess she came out. So The only time I remember going down, she did take a charge. That is true, but yeah, she's not even in the huddle. She's obviously with the trainer, so I do not know what happened, which that is not good for Fairview. She is a key player in there, especially in their star a starter. She's in that starting rotation. She is a key player. Indeed. So Fairview will inbounds it. Tiffany's walking it up, closely guarded by a Lewis County defender. They're driving. Ooh, good screen by Taylor, but foul called on it. That yeah, is, that was a good play. So it'll be, I believe, they called it on the floor. I believe they called it, they call it, I think they called it on Jesse Mangrum, I believe. So it will be Lewis County ball. I don't know about that one either. Almost, Almost lost. Yep. Just off the hands, it will be. Lewis County ball? No. Fairview ball. Fairview ball. Nice. Fairview realistically still has a chance to get back in the game, but they got to start making shots and actually taking shots. That is true. Making the shots and then on defense. Rebounding ball. If they can rebound it, this could be a whole different game, but. Lewis County is just dominating the boards, so it's just they get when they're on offense, they're just dominating and getting second ch second chance points, and also so fighting for the ball. I believe who's I don't know whose possession it is. I'll, I guess they didn't call it jump. Ball. I guess it'll be go to the line to shoot two for Lewis. So on number thirty, Tori Smith. That is her second foul of the game. Earlier in the game, Tiffany's shots were falling. She drained two threes early, but she has not made one since. That, that is second three. That is true. And Lewis, 
Lewis is now in the, the Fairview is now with 10 fouls, so which means Lewis is in a double bonus, I believe. First one's off the mark. Checking into the game for Lewis County, we got a substitution. I can't read the numbers on their jerseys because it's might be number I th 34, maybe. Yeah, I think she checked in. I want to say possibly number five, Kendall Bain, checked out of the game, but I was not sure because it's with their uniforms, it's hard to read their the yellow on their uniforms on the monitor. Shot in the deep, corner. Another deep three. Not really the best shot selection. By Jesse Mangrum, yeah. That was that was very, not little, very forced there by Fairview. Good play there by Taylor to try to intercept the pass, but I believe it will be off her. It will be Lewis County ball underneath the goal, so. I think right now it's a little bit too early for Fairview to enter into desperation mode, just tossing up threes. Yeah, I mean, if they'll settle it down and work it around and actually look for high percentage shots instead of just pulling up for the first open three they find this might be a completely different game but it's almost they're getting to the point where it's almost too late to do anything so it I, I, I think they're just trying to pull up three so that they hit it it's for the most points so which isn't isn't smart that's not the best game plan at all so but Fairview currently down 14 points that is true so got Caroline Edmondson also checking into the game back into the game for Fairview Tiffany Franks holding it up top, guarded closely by a Lewis County defender, trying to make her miss. They're trying to. It'll be a timeout by Fairview. It'll be a minute timeout. So, with 4:31 left, the score is 53 to 39. This game might be almost to the point where it's out of hand, and it might be the Lewis County's game. Pretty much, they came out strong. The second half and held with it really. So yeah, just give the give the second stringers a little bit of play time here. That is true. I I don't know. I guess after after Sierra McDonald got hurt for Fairview, they just kind of I don't know what happened to them. They typically never done this before, but it's just they just started throwing everything up. So I just don't know what's going on. And I don't. There's the trainer right there. I don't see Sierra with the trainer. So unless I don't know where she is, I really don't know. I never saw her. Well, like you said earlier, the only th time she went down was when she went down taking that charge early, but it looked like she got up and was fine, so I don't know what's happened to her. So, but Coming out of the timeout. We got Sarah Mangrum, Caroline Edmondson, Tiffany Franks, Molly Graham, and Taylor Langston for Fairview. Down low to Taylor, shot goes up, and it's good. Leads back down to 12. Good shot. So that was a good shot, so we got our swinging a shot in the corner, just off the of mark. Open three, rebound. Molly Graham. I believe she might have been out of bounds, so we'll give it back to they'll give it back to Lewis over there in the corner. So hmm. Yep. So Lewis will inbound the ball right there at the corner. Throwing it. Back up top, setting it. Looks like they almost tried to set it up again, but they didn't, so. Kicking it back out. Good, good defense there by Molly. She Ooh. fell. Well, got right back up and didn't, didn't even, look like didn't even phase her. Breaking her own ankles. Mm -hmm. Driving wide open lane. Ooh, Molly coming in. Molly sliding over and drawing the foul. Making her go to the line, so. Believe that might be her second or third, I believe. But Lewis going to go to the line to shoot two. That's her second foul for Molly. So, about four minutes left to go in the game. First one's up, off the mark. So, uh, Lewis still up by 14 points. No, that's actually 12. 12? 12. 12. 12. Yeah. Greg hit that shot earlier, Earlier, so made it cut it into 12. Now it's 13. So, she missed the first one, made the second one. So, Tiffany's carrying the ball up for Fairview. Almost loses it. But then, spin move, drives, kicks. Taylor with the ball. Looks like they draw on the foul. Person on Lewis, and we just lost our scoreboard cam. So, we do not know what the score is or how much time's left, so we'll just have to play it by ear. So, we're driving. Lewis with the ball. Swinging it. Trying to drive. Goes up. Wide open, open lane. lane. 
Fairview was had the defense, but as soon as she broke by the first initial defender up top, she's had a wide open lane, three steps right after Both. the goal, but no pressure at all. I don't know. Both uh, Sarah Manger and Tiffany Franks had a chance to get in the way. That Could is true. the lane right there, but neither did. Neither did. She split them, and then it was no one. I guess they didn't recognize, and the Fairview person didn't slide over from back side, but it was she, she, she split the double team right there. She was, it was a wide open lane, three steps and up, and that's what she did. So Sarah Mangrum, I think, is at the free throw line right now. Yep. So Jesse Mangrum checks into the game, and also number 24, Kyra Bowman checks into the game. So we got Jesse Mangrum, Sarah Mangrum, Molly Graham, Kyra Bowman, and I believe Tiffany Franks is still in the game, I believe. So we got so we have a little three bit of freshmen, a sophomore, and I guess a senior if Tiffany is still in the game. And scoreboard cams back up. Score right now is 56-42. Just kidding. We got four freshmen in the game and a sophomore, and it's Caroline Edmondson, I guess, checking in the game in place of Tiffany. So it's four freshmen and a sophomore, and the score is they're down by 14 with right at almost three minutes left. Yes. It'll walk, so it'll be Fairview ball. So Sarah Mangrum will carry it up with 303 left. She'll look to try to put some points on the board. Even though there's the even though this young kids, they can still four shot off the mark. Rebound by Lewis. It looks like she was still like running and just kinda she had threw a it up as she was running. She had a chance to set up there too off the good screen by Molly. She did, but she just I think she's trying to she had that like up tempo mindset in her head and just didn't if she would have stopped and taken her time and pulled up for that shot, she actually probably it was almost a she almost made it even just in a hustle, but she would have set up, she probably could have hit it, which would have been would have been a good shot there for Fairview. Indeed. But there she goes again, pushing it with two twenty left, throwing it down low to Molly, who throws it. Looking for Jesse Mangrum, but gets it stolen because force it tried to force it into a double team, so it was there, but it had to be a tight pass. That was, so we got they're moving. Lewis County is looking they'll hold the ball. I don't know. Don't know what's up. Oh, checking in the game. Molly Graham will check out at number ten. Lauren Lotta will check into the game. So once again we got four freshmen and a sophomore in the game for Fairview. Number 20, Leanne Amateur will inbounds the ball for Lewis. Surprise, Leanne Amateur. She was one of the Lewis County starters. I'm surprised they still have them in. That is true. At this point in the game, they're up by 16 with under two minutes. So it's throw it to the corner. Up. Oh, that would have been early in the game. She would have pulled pulled up for that one right there, but she didn't. Looks like they're they're just they're not trying to run up the score anymore. They're just trying to kill time and end this game, and then come out the W. But all right, we got number 40, Megan Martin, checking into the game for Lauren Lott, I believe. Sarah Mangrum. Sarah Mangrum. So well, Megan Martin's also a freshman. So still got four freshmen and a sophomore in there for Fairview. So these really are all the second stringers. No, none of the uh, original uh, rotation for Fairview. That is true. Starting five, or pretty much they're starting like seven are on the bench. They just don't want to get them hurt and let them play the rest of this game. I believe we have under a minute and a half. We lost our scoreboard again, so we're blind on the time-wise, but no, minute 18. It's back, so we got a little bit of technical difficulties. Yeah, Lewis County is just trying to sit here, just trying to waste, kill the clock down, so goes up. Looks like she I believe got fouled, so it'll be uh, fouled by Caroline Edmondson. Yep, so it'll be It'll be, um, they'll go to the line and shoot two. So, with 107 left, Lewis County's up by 16. They will shoot two. First shot is up, and good. All right, we got uh, Sarah Mangrum checked into the game for Caroline, and Lewis County has three new, three new people come in. So it looks like both teams are making some changes now and as we enter, almost enter under a minute left in this game. Made both of them. So with that, the score is now 60 to 42. 
With 107 left, Lewis County has to lead the back up to 18, which I believe has been the, this is the largest of the game, am I correct? Yeah, 18 points. Pretty good lead. Sarah Mangum with the ball. Driving, looking. Shoot Pulled up three. again. Good. Made it this time. Good shot there by Sarah. So 15 point lead now. 15 point lead. Less yep. than a minute left to go there. Yep. Looks like I, I thought Lewis would just try to hold it up top, but I guess they're try, still trying to put pressure on it. Just trying to keep the tempo going. But I believe it's a good double team. Called it. Timeout called, I believe, by Lewis. I believe it'll be a 30 second timeout. So. Don't really know why you call a timeout at this point. Neither do I. You're up by, up by 15 with 43 seconds. I'd just tell him just to possess the ball and just only, only shoot if it's like wide open. Wide open, or if you can find a good drive to the lane. That's about the only thing I do. I just they just try to just possess the ball and kill time. But there we got our student section. It's building up a little bit for the guys' game. So. uh We'll see. I don't know. There's Birdie Brock right there in the crowd. Jay Chris, Brian, Justin, and little uh, Jacob Butcher's little brother right there. So he'll, be, he'll be a monster at football in a couple of years. Just wait. I'm calling it. I'll be, I was the first one to say it. Just like his brothers. Exactly. So as we enter 30 seconds and counting down, Lewis will just hold the ball right at the top of the key up, drive in. Kicks it back out. And this they're just gonna kill the clock. So it looks like this will be the wrap up of the game as they drive one. Ooh, Ooh. collision. It'll be we've it'll be Fairview Fairview ball. We have Desiree Sanchez checking in the game and Chol Rambang checking in the game for Fairview. Just kidding. It is Lewis County's ball <laughs> with 14.1 seconds inbounds it and they will just bring it back to the top and hold it. I don't know why they're. I don't know why they would do that, but they drove again and drew the foul. So if 8.3 seconds, Lewis will go back to the line to shoot two. Just trying to get some stats on the board, I guess, for these. I guess JV so. Players. They're, and they're dropping their other four players back. So Fairview can't. If it's off the mark, Fairview can't get it. Get a quick shot down the field. They got four defenders waiting on them on the other side. First one's barely off the mark, so it'll be away to second one with 8.3 seconds left. Second one is up and off the mark too. Fairview will drive it down. Loyalana will go. As it cl clicks out, it will be balls will go out of bounds with 0.3 seconds left. It'll be Fairview's ball, so they'll inbound it and throw up a shot, and that will be the end of the game. So, the shot probably won't even count. Probably won't. Look if they get it off, and they barely, not really. So final score of this game is 60 to 45. The winners are. Uh, Lewis County Lady Panthers. So, what are your thoughts as this game wraps up? Second, third quarter, Fairview. Fairview did pretty good, but then again, just turnovers, rebounds, was the was the reason that Fairview lost this game. That is true. They, I don't. This was like turnover wise. This was probably like their like their worst game turnover wise. I don't know what happened to them. They were just like, even at the beginning of the game, they were just like start kind of like spazzing out and freaking out, and they just throw the ball away and throw it right into the hands of Lewis County. So, Indeed. all right, thanks, y'all, for joining. We'll uh, recognize our crew one last time for this game. It's myself, Benjamin Lampley. And Jonathan Extreme. On commentary on cameras tonight, we had Amy Grayson, Jesse Lejeune, and Mitch Weimer. On TriCaster and director, we had Kevin Green. And executive producer behind all this was Mr. Bob King. And stay tuned for the boys game. Thank y'all for listening. See y'all soon.